Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for the continuous support, suggestions, and phone calls. So guys, remember I tell you the other day we're going to start doing some pasture research. And I was telling you that I like to... There's different ways how to measure the land. You can do it the, the manual way where you go out there with a measuring tape. Or you can use Google Earth. So today I want to show you guys how that are going to use Google Earth and measure this land. I can literally do it from a car. You know, once I can carry my car to where we stop, where the, where the actual plot ends, I can just use my phone and start to do measurements on Google Earth from there. But we're going to go out in the field. Um, so we're going to try to be as accurate as possible today. So watch how I get it done using Google Earth. So sorry for the breeze guys as you see we're going to try to measure this plot today um, this guy is doing silage production so we soon can give you access to silage um, they're doing the plastic bag silage as you know using the dearboard machine and they want us to measure this plot to see how much acres of land was harvested so I need to basically catch the points but I kind of have an idea at the area so that's going to go down to the end down here where we see them have that clear land and use it as my first reference point I kind of use this tree also as ref reference points too to so that is where the, the land starts I know I can find that on on Google Earth so it's the last tree before these sets of trees going down um, so we can go down to the point and the reference point on Google Earth and we basically do our measurements using this application that they have. All right, guys, so at the end of the property, so we're going to stand up right here and make this be our reference point on Google Earth. So I'm going to show you how we do that. So we're using right at the end here as our reference point. And we are going to measure all of this that you see is harvested and we're going to try to cut out this part of that do harvest as yet all right guys so i click this button right here and it actually zooms in right into my location so i'm actually right there as we speak so now that's my reference point and i'm going to go to this route it the ruler thing okay i can shift that across all right ready now so here's the ruler and we're going to add the point from here so other point we're going to come here where i'm at exactly add an x point and we're going to come up it's about three quarter here a couple meters up into the field add a point we'll come across to the end to the fence line where they did it at an X point we come in here to where the walkway is at a point stretch it across to the road remember that oh no I think I did that wrong guys because remember we seen it was at that first tree so we're going to undo right and undo again we're going to carry this up a little bit more to about here at that point come cross here now yes at that point coming up here I remember working with that first tree it's so the first tree right here that I showed you earlier at that point and then we're going to you can do as you you can follow the fence line if you want you know at point and then when we're here we're going to close the shape and there we have 16 acres Google calculate it at. So for me, I'm going to just screenshot this. Right? So just measure the piece of land just by using Google Earth to have a clear idea of what, what is harvested. Um, so that's it. And again, guys, don't forget to support the www. 
armorkhalil.com online store. And we just added the live animal segment to the website where you can purchase some of these live animals directly from some of the farmers that ask for assistance to move them and some farmers that we featured. And the store accepts all payment options.